Considering making a move or relocating here to the Chicagoland area, well in this video I'm sharing my top 7 tips to saving a little bit of money on your move to the Chicago area, so keep watching to find out what all 7 are. What is happening everybody? This is Austin Weiss. I'm your go-to real estate resource here in the Chicagoland area. I do a ton of video content all about what it's like to work, eat, live, and play right here in the Chicago Metro. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss out any of my future videos. Honestly, people, I have so many people calling, texting, and emailing me days, nights, weekends, and I absolutely love it. So if you're ever thinking about making a move here to the Chicagoland area, you can shoot me a text, give me a call or send me an email and I would just love to have a conversation with you and help you in any way with your move. In this video, I'm sharing my top seven hacks to saving a little bit of money, time, and energy when making a move here to Chicago. And make sure you watch until the end. Number seven will actually be the most important. So first and foremost, your personal belongings and furniture. Time to get rid of that college furniture, those personal belongings, those hand-me-downs, you name it. You can always get rid of them for a tax write-off, sell them on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, use some of those proceeds to pay down closing costs or buy brand new furniture. I mean, you're moving into a new space, you're gonna want furniture and belongings that fit those dimensions of your new house. If you need help trying to figure out what those are, I can always send you the housing dimensions. We do a lot of 3D print, print imaging here in the Chicagoland area so I can give you a bird's eye view of the interior of the house if that helps you figure out what kind of furniture and how big those pieces of furniture should be. The number two hack on my list to saving some money when moving is moving supplies. I'm talking about boxes, wrapping paper, and that bubble wrap to keep all your belongings in one piece. Definitely try to hit up Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and the Nextdoor app. You can usually find people that are moving into or out of your area that have extra boxes or whatever from their move. Um, also Costco, U-Haul, and Home Depot always have stuff for sale. Another free resource that I try to hit up a lot are the liquor stores and the supermarkets markets they're always having extra boxes and that butcher paper that is vital to making sure all your belongings get to your next destination in one piece. My number three tip to saving a little bit of money, time, and frustration are the appliances. Now whether you're buying or selling it's customary here in the Chicagoland area to leave your appliances. However in the age of COVID you might want to ask for that washer and dryer or maybe even the refrigerator to be removed and if that's the case then I would ask for closing credits in the offer, you'll know right on the very first page of any negotiated offer um, whether the appliances are being included with the sale of the house or not. So I'll definitely make sure to point that out. Um, if for some reason the appliances are staying with the house, they look a little bit older, I would recommend asking for a home warranty to be included with the sale. That will not only cover your appliances, but many other components of the house cover you up for a year and then you can always renew it after that but that'll just give you peace of mind knowing that if something does for some reason crap out that you're covered and the home warranty company will either repair it or replace it 100% cost to them. Hey if you're enjoying this video so far and it's helping you in any way with your move make sure to give me a thumbs up tap that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below about exactly what you're looking for when you're making a move anywhere to the Chicagoland area. All right the fourth tip on my list are resources. I have a ton of local resources Sources, whether you need a lender, a moving company, an attorney, you name it, I got it. And I have a fantastic list of people that are awesome at what they do for work. Um, I also partner with a company called 360 Home Connect, so you don't have to worry about setting up any of your utilities, spending 20, 30, 45 minutes on the phone with your cable company trying to set that up. They're awesome, they'll help you set up all your utilities, like I just said, security system, forward you mail, give you quotes for movers, and much, much more. When you work with me, that's 100% free to you. All right. So number five on my list to save yourself a bunch of needless headaches and frustration. It's just to move here, find a rental for a time being, whether that's six months, a year, whatever it is. I've had people move here from the city, out of state, out of country, whatever it is, wherever they're coming from, do it both ways, whether they just wanna find a house, get settled down, start accumulating equity, um, or they wanna rent because they wanna find that exact right town, that exact neighborhood in that right town. Whatever you decide, I will help you make that best decision for yourself, your family, and your future and support it in any way possible. That takes us right into number six is kids activities with a lot of population density here in the Chicagoland area. 
daycare, sports camps, different activity camps for kids. There's a lot of competitions, so definitely sign up early and often. If you're trying to get them into a specific program in a particular town, I would reach out to the program coordinator ahead of time, tell them you're moving into the area and see if there's an opening at all. Here in the winter, we have a lot of indoor facilities, whether that's for sports, music, drama, kids just running around having fun. So definitely make sure to utilize indoor activities for the winter. And hack number seven, the number one thing you can possibly do to save yourself time, money, and energy when making a move anywhere in the Chicagoland area is you reach out to me. I would love for the opportunity just to service your real estate needs, put together a comprehensive plan so that you more quickly get to your favorite house and you can beat out all that competition I was talking about earlier. Uh, I'll send you over my dream home form. You can fill it out put together all your desires, needs, and wants, and we'll connect on a Zoom call so that we can put together that plan and put it into action to make sure that you make the best decision for yourself, your family, and your future. Even if you're not looking to move for another six months, a year, or two years, I'm having conversations today with people that are planning years ahead of time. So if you want if you want to connect now, uh, so I can kind of give you some advice on what you should be doing today to make your housing dreams a possibility, definitely shoot me a text, give me a call, or send me an email, days, nights, weekends. Like I said, whenever you're available, I can make myself available too. Thanks so much for watching this video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.